I'm here in Livonia, a little bit of a drive for me, but I'm at my favorite granite place. This is Granite Planet. Um, I'm not only a real estate agent, I'm an investor too. So I have um, a home and I'm going to be showing you more video of this. It's really cool, but um, I'm going to be flipping one of my um, houses that I own. And um, this is one of the steps in the process. I'm going to order granite. So I'm going to step inside and let's take a look. Okay, so now I'm inside here at Granite Planet. And for those of you who have not shopped for um, a slab of stone before, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, they have aisles and aisles of different slabs to choose from. And part of the reason it's important to look at um, each individual slab is because even if you pick a certain type of stone that you like, every slab has different characteristics. So I'm gonna go take a look. Um, the slabs here are labeled um, A, B, C, D, um, and on um, the least expensive ones are in the A category. So I'm hoping to find something in A, maybe B, possibly C. Um, for resale, we like to look for something white or light or kind of in the white and gray category. That's really popular right now. So I'm gonna go see what they have and we'll take a look at the pricing. This is one of my favorite granites, especially for a bathroom. It's not in my price range for this project because this is a small house that's not gonna resell for a lot of money. But um, I had a client that I helped pick some granite for their master bath recently. They had white cabinetry. And um, this is what we went with and it just turned out stunning. So this is called um, Cristallo number two. Super pretty. Again, not in my price range for this one, but um, it almost looks like um, ice crystals and sugar. And who doesn't love that? So I found one that I like quite a bit. It's really loud in here because they do manufacturing here on site as well. This is called Stream White. Again, I'm trying to stay in a lower price point. So um, if I had a bigger budget to spend, then I might um, choose something without as much movement. But this one's a possibility here. Pretty good choice. A lot of white and a lot of gray. Here's another really nice choice. This is called White Alpha. This doesn't have quite as much um, dramatic markings, as many dramatic markings. It's a little more consistent. A lot of gray there. A lot of great choices here. It's almost a little bit mind-boggling. It's hard to decide, but a lot of great choices. So I just wanted to show an example of an A category. So this was this is a less expensive category. Um, I'm not going to use it in this case because it's just a little bit more for me to go with the B category granite um, that I like a lot. But I just wanted to show an example. Other examples might be um, like a dark kind of black granite or an ubatuba. Um, one of those that maybe is not as popular now. Now I'm over here in the quartz section. So quartz is really beautiful. Um, generally, it's not cheaper than the less expensive granite. So even though it might be something I would select for new construction or my own home or a higher end project for, um, for this flip, it's kind of a rental into a flip that I'm doing. I think I'm probably not gonna go with quartz in this case. All right, so many pretty granites to look at. This is the one I'm gonna end up going with. Um, Carrera Marble is still really popular. This is not that. Um, this is much less expensive. It's called Stream White. Um, it's a few hundred dollars less than the quote I got for the very um, cheapest category, but I think it's gonna be worth it in the long run. I think the resale will be um, great with this uh, slab of granite. So I'm excited to see it in. Uh, it's scheduled to go in in just a few weeks. So I will uh, be back with more about our um, home renovation and um, watch for our videos coming up soon. So today is our granite installation at the renovation project that I'm working on. This is my 97 Parkdale. It's in Pontiac. And um, let's go inside and see how things are coming along. 
All right, here we are in the kitchen. They're in the process of installing the granite here. I think it's really pretty. It's just right in the kind of color profile I was interested in for this house. These cabinets are gonna be painted too. So they're still pretty sturdy cabinets. They're gonna be cleaned up and painted white. I opted not to put new cabinets in the project to save money, but I'll show you another video after the installation is finished. They're just doing the little um, four inch back splash se uh, section right now, but it's looking really good. All right, here we are, granite is all done. They just put a coat of sealer on. So the process was that it was measured a few weeks ago. Then I selected this granite down at the shop. Then it was fabricated. And then when they deliver it, it comes in pieces. So you can see that it's got a couple of seams. Um, it looks pretty good. I think they did a nice job on the seams. It's got one right here too. Um, and then, um, then they put the little four inch backsplash in. And after that was done, they drilled the holes for the sink. So in this case, I had a hole that was drilled also for a soap dispenser. They adhered the sink into place. So usually when you um, go to pick a slab of granite, they'll have you pick the sink that you want as well. So then we'll be adding a disposal and hardware later. The sealer will dry and then it'll be in great shape. So that's the end of um, the granite. And some people might ask, well, why are you putting granite in a house that's priced under $150,000? Um, that's a great question. I think the main reason is because I want a buyer to fall in love with this house. And granite is pretty easy to fall in love with. So when somebody falls in love with a house, that just means more money and uh, a better bottom line. That's it for today. Hope you guys have a great day. Good luck with your projects. Call me if you have any questions or if you've thought about uh, investing or flipping. I'd love to help. Love to talk about it. Take care. Bye-bye.